I don't travel much, but I think Australia always sounds like that might be kind of a cool destination. Yeah, I would agree. It's, uh, I think, opposite climate. Well, it's winter here, it's summer there, and yeah. vice versa, that kind of thing. But yes, I would agree. So until I, I actually agree. get to travel there, yeah. I will have to travel through the beverage that you've brought to us. For this Give It a Shot, I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith, and uh, we are aboutbeverages.com. And yes, uh, we can do that. We can travel to uh, Australia, where this particular beverage uh, hails from, from Bundaberg. We are do oh it says invert bottle before opening from Bundaberg we are doing a lemon lime and bitters uh, flavored sparkling drink. Okay, I was going to ask is it soda, a soda is it, tonic? Yeah. We're going to invert. Gonna, are you going to tip that over? And while you're tipping that over, I'm going to ask. I know we've had what well, you just oh just for like a second. I thought it had to stay inverted. I don't know. It just said no. It said invert a bottle before opening. Okay. No, what I was going to ask was you know I know we've had when we made our Dave's. Manhattan. That's right. Which was probably one of the most delicious drinks on the planet. That involves bitters. A certain type of it. There are many different types of bitters. Like, I don't know. How do you actually either make bitters or what? what is it exactly? I mean, I know I know to buy it, but I don't really know, like, really about it. So, like, what is bitters really? Did I ask too much? I don't know. Tell you no, uh, bitters, yeah, there are a wide variety out there. Um, and, and there is an article, um, whether it's online or not, I don't know, but imbibe. Once again, I'm referencing Imbibe Magazine did a an article actually on bitters within the last year or two and talked about it in pretty great detail. What they are is essentially um, herbals, aromatics, things like that, that are combined together. And there are actually a lot of uh, uh, bartenders now are making their own, actually. Oh, okay. Because uh, you can customize them. You can have them more on the uh, the spicy side. You can have them some more on the, the, the fruity side, some more on the actual herbal side. So you can customize them. And then they're just basically not reductions, but like a, a concentrate okay. of, of particular um, herb that at one time there were a lot of people that thought um, they actually had healing powers, recuperative powers, did okay. did lots of good things that they, they would just drink them actually with in soda water or that kind of thing. But they've been used you know for centuries to um, to enhance mixed drinks. Well, because um, I know when I when we went to make that Manhattan that one time on a previous podcast, which you can listen to at aboutbeverages dot com, I had bought orange bitters. And that was not the right thing. Like, so, so you right. know, that plays into that there are many different. And actually, reading on the website for this particular beverage, it says that they do make their own in house for this particular sparkling beverage. Is that what they're. Here we go. Bitters are. Here's one sparkling definition sparkling drink. Bitters are a diverse group of chemical compounds that share the common characteristic of bitter taste. Bitters can be used to strengthen and improve the whole digestive system in the body as well as the nervous system. Bitters also act to increase the vital energy centers in the body. So, you know, there's a lot of. Different people who will quote say unquote healing things. properties, right? Healing properties, okay. and and like I said, can be you know consumed either you know by themselves or mixed with um, obviously an alcoholic beverage or uh, in some cases just a sparkling beverage too. So I should be drinking more of this and more Manhattans. Is that what you're telling sure, me for of longer course. life? Okay, yes. all right. That sounds that sounds very yes. good. Well, I'm very. Uh, this is I have never heard of this. This is this is very cool. So I think yeah, I was at actually it was my my cost plus trip where I bought the Taylor's tonics, which we've recently tried. I saw this as well. I'm fairly certain it was the same price, five ninety nine for four. Uh, okay, right in. I, I, in fact, it was. It was five ninety nine for four on this, and I was just like, time to try something completely different. Ooh, this is very effervescent. Lots of bubbles on the initial pour, and then it kind of goes away. Yeah, once again, I don't know what it is, but at my house when I poured these. It, it stayed around a lot longer. I don't know if it's because I poured <laughs> it over ice. Yeah. Wait. Full disclosure. Have you had this? As I've well? had this one too. Holy crud! The only one I haven't I, I had. Know we, the we, next I know, one. Okay. We've I was got a say, ginger beer. I haven't right, had we've yet. Got yet. Another thing. Jeez. Yeah. So it's actually got a little very light, like rose, pinkish. I, I was just going to say, yeah. yeah, it actually does. It's kind of yeah, yellow, little yellow rose kind of looking thing. I'm getting like some ginger. Kind yeah, that's what there. I was saying. That's what okay. I was thinking too. Yeah, and maybe a little kind of lemon lime at the end, but that's that's what I'm getting aromatic wise. I agree. That is really unique. It starts out kind of sweet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like a sour patch kid, <laughs> versus it's sour than it's sweet. No, it starts out kind of sweet. Then it gets into a little bit of bitter, and then it gets tart. Like sides of my tongue kind of puckering in a little bit toward the back, and this is kind of some of the flavor. If like you mix this. And that that uh, mojito from Taylor's Tonics that we right. just had—if you mix those two together, this is the tart I was looking for in that. Like if some of this tart was going, it was in that. You know, almost like a little green apple tart, even yeah. though it's lemon and lime. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It is that kind of like Granny Smith like tart kind of apple something in there. But uh, there's a little something at the end that gives that herbal quality sting too much. But there's something there's a there's a remnant of there uh, that could I could have more of that. 
Yeah, I could have a little more on that finish, but it's but it's it doesn't have to be. It wouldn't have to be this sweet. Um, it could back off a little bit on that. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure how. This one wow, is forty. It's actually very sweet. It's yeah. 40, 40 grams of sugar. So there's a lot yeah. of sweetness in here. Yeah, yep. they definitely could back that off because even though it is fairly tart, I, I think yeah, you could you could bring that back a little bit. Yeah, the second ingredient on here is cane sugar. And then even the bitters brew contains cane sugar as well. So yeah. there's there's quite a bit of quite a bit of sugar in there. It's not it is not overly sweet, surprisingly enough for yeah. how much is in there, but there is a good amount of sweetness. I like the tart. I actually that's pretty tasty. I like that. Yeah, I I it yeah, it, honestly and I don't know if they had to do this for the for American consumption or if this is just how this is, but this yeah, this could be more powerful, I guess. Less sweet, a little more flavor. Could be a little some, more bitter and a little yeah. more tart. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, I liked it too. I, when Kristen Ben didn't like this one, but this was Kristen's favorite of the three we tried. She liked this oh, okay. one the best. She didn't really care for the other two too much, but she's like, that's not bad. I mean, not, I don't think she would drink it or want me to buy it for her, but, but she she preferred this one. Yeah, that's a nice change from just like a regular yeah. lemon-lime soda or something like that. That's kind of a nice yeah. little added adjustment. But like I said, yeah, just, I'm, I'm really surprised at the amount of sugar in here. Yeah. I don't drink enough soda that that like, completely bothers me, but it's just for some reason it seems strange. Yeah, it wouldn't it have seems, to be quite that. Bad. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. Yeah. Maybe you could make like a pretty tasty little like sorbet or something out of this actually if you want to talk about alcohol you could probably put a little gin with that oh that would be interesting yeah make a gin and tonic with that that'd be your tonic yeah that would that would definitely be interesting yeah a little lemon kinda, and lime would go good with the gin kind of spice it up a little bit yeah, yeah actually that would be a really good right tasty gin and tonic or if you really don't want to taste any you know have any alcohol to your taste and just you know want to get blitz just you know make it vodka <laughs> <laughs> you, you could use that for anything pretty much that's true I just like this flavor, but I still want the alcohol. That's right. Vodka. Vodka is your beverage. And uh, Tito's is the recommendation of aboutbeverages.com. That's right. So. That's right. I like that. Pretty well balanced overall. I would just back off on the sweet. Yep. Yeah, I agree. I but agree. speaking of backing off, no, our, listener, back our off. listeners should not back off. Should not back off. Of heading to the website at aboutbeverages.com. And, and they're uh, going to back off of other websites to go see ours. Go visit that's ours. true. They should. That they can do. That's right. <laughs> they can do that. Yes. And they can find out uh, our tasting notes and uh, where this hits on our recommendation scale if they do go to the website. And while they're there, definitely be uh, perusing the drink database, previous podcasts, become a fan of us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. All of these things can be found very easily at the website, as well as links to uh, all of the beverages that we talk about on, uh, on our podcasts. All of that can be done. That's right. Check it out. But whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. 